So we got an updated rumor list for the summer 2021 Marvel list, so... Genuinely! <laughs> what the fuck? Anyways, these rumors are very good and they make a lot more sense now and um, we also did get an official reveal of one of these sets which I'll get into at the very end, but uh, these rumors are very promising. Everything once again makes a lot more sense and if anything, it made me even more excited. First set here is 76186 and is the Black Panther Dragonflyer. It has 202 pieces and will retail for $20. There was a rumor floating around yesterday that it would be $30. However, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be 20 at this point, but we do have a Black Panther minifigure which I discussed yesterday and basically there's going to be a new mold for it and then we have a shuri minifigure which is of course going to be new i believe they're using a hairpiece from one of the past cmf series and then they're doing a ch chitari most likely the one that they put in the 2019 avengers endgame sets uh so very excited for this set probably going to pick it up especially since it, it's, it's at the 20 dollars price point which i seems it's fair and once again um, most of these sets, which I'll discuss them, are based off of the final battle or just Avengers Endgame. So this is going to be from Avengers Endgame, Endgame explaining the Ch Chitari. And also, yes, Dragonflyers um, from Wakanda were actually in the uh, final battle. So uh, that, you know, I, it's a lot of, it's just something people don't really notice. But uh, once again, I'm very excited for the set. Now let's get right into the next one. So we knew a lot about before, but it is 76189 Captain America and Hydra Faceoff. It's going to be 4 plus. How, it'd be $10 and have 400 and not 400 47 pieces and it will include a small motorcycle and a gun post with uh two figures being captain america and a hydra agent you know pretty much expected that what we thought it was going to be but unless it's like a super exclusive captain america from world war ii i really don't I, I could really care less about this set but once again if for people that um it will appeal to um you know it seems like a pretty good de deal considering you get two minifigures and two builds for ten dollars so uh, once again, let's get right into the next set. Set 761900 is the Ironmonger Mayhem, and it will be $40, have 479 pieces, and the Ironmonger will be built in the, in a similar scale to the uh, Hulkbusters, and will include Iron Man Mark III, Pepper Potts, and Obadiah Stain, which is what the figures I thought it was going to include. So um, once again, very excited for the set. Um, once again, happy that they are going back and doing older Marvel movies. So uh, let's get right into the next set, which is going to be the juiciest set of them all. This set is everything we could have hoped for. Set 76192, the Avengers Endgame Final Battle will be $70. I completely forgot the piece count. I think it was 596 off the top of my head. And it's a smaller Avengers compound and will also include Ant-Man's van. And the minifigures are Thanos in which he will have no helmet and have a rotatable head, which is interesting. Um, and I believe he's going to be a big fig. Um, and then we have an Ant-Man micro figure, a Captain America, who hopefully has a new shield mold with a um, you know broken shield. That would be incredible with also the... Um, Thor's hammer. There will also be the Iron Man Mark 85, which I hope has arm printing. I really do. And then we will have Thor with long hair. Not going to be fat Thor, but it's going to be, you know, the regular Thor from the movies. And then it will be Scarlet Witch, is, which is going to be a very desirable figure. Um, hopefully she has a new outfit. I really don't know. And then we will have Black Panther, most likely this, the same one. Um, dragonfly set and then a chitauri minifigure so this set is going to be packed full of really good figures um and of course there will be a new thanos in that which i don't know why he doesn't have his helmet on um because if you think about it like he doesn't have it on at all except in the beginning of the fight when it's just thanos versus iron man thor and um Captain America, but um, once again, very excited for the set. Seventy dollars, you get two builds um, and a lot of minifigures. One being a big fig, it's just going to be an amazing set, and um, it's also going to tie in with the next set, which we'll talk about momentarily. Set seven six two hundred. It will be the Sanctuary two, and it will be f in the dark gray and tan color scheme, which you know seems accurate. It'll be thirty dollars, which is very interesting considering this vehicle, this uh, ship, is extremely massive. And um, the figures are Iron Man, a Thanos minifigure, which I'm not sure about this one, but I hope it looks good. I'm pretty sure it will be. And then we will get a new Captain Marvel, which um, I hope she's going to have her uh, hair, uh, like her 
mold, helmet mold on, which is interesting. Uh, hopefully we get some form of arm printing and leg printing. That's kind of just what I want from a Captain Marvel figure, considering the other ones we've had haven't had any of those. Um, but very excited for this one. Of course, this is going to tie hand in hand with the other one, with the other set that we mentioned previously. But I really wish they just didn't put the Thanos in there. It just seemed kind of unnecessary. Same with the Iron Man. I think they should have included, you know, a different figure, um, maybe like a Bucky Barnes. I, don't, I really don't know. Just any other figure other than Iron Man, considering we're getting one in the... $70 set, but for $100, if you have $100 to spend you, and you get both of these, you're going to have a crazy ass uh, Avengers Endgame setup. So, um, once again, this is a very good one, and we're going to get right into the next set, which is going to be the most expensive of the wave. I don't really know what to think about this. The set 76193, the Benatar, for $150 includes Star Lord, Teenage Group, Rocket Raccoon, Thor, Mantis, and a Chitari. And as someone who owns the ones from the Infinity War lineup, both of them, the small one and the big one, I'm kind of bummed out that they're making a remake of it. However, I know they're going to nail this remake out of the park. And it's obviously going to include a lot of exclusive minifigures. I heard they're making a new Rocket Raccoon. Teenage Root, I wouldn't be surprised if they kept it the same. Same with the Star-Lord. Uh, and then Thor, Hope. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a Fat Thor. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a Fat Thor. And then since there's a Chitauri on the set, I'm assuming that it, it will be based off of, you know, Avengers Endgame. And then we'll also get a Mantis figure. And as someone who does not own a Mantis figure, it's kind of... Uh, the Thor and the Mantis set, the figure kind of want me to buy the set. I wouldn't be surprised if I ended up getting it sometime down the line, but $150 is kind of steep for something like this. Um, but once again, I'm very excited. This is um, going to be an amazing set for sure, and definitely one that is going to be very um, sought after after it retires and probably like in 2023 or something. But um, once again, very expensive set. I really don't have... Uh, you know, I'm not in like the right mindset to you know start making stuff considering I making stuff up about it considering I haven't seen what it looked like. I'm just basing this off of the rumors that I've gotten. Also, if you are wondering where I'm getting my information from, it's Falcon 1414 on Falcon Fan 1414 on Instagram, and then he's getting his sources from Promo Bricks. So uh, just you know, just to let you guys know, you can look up uh, 1414 Falcon Fan on Instagram, and you will find the source of my information. So set 76196 is going to be the Marvel Advent Calendar and earlier this year we found out they were going to make an Advent Calendar and I completely forgot to mention it last video um, but now we finally got more information on what's going to be included in it. We're going to have Iron Man with an ugly Christmas sweater which is going to be um, similar to what we got for the Poe and Darth Vader from last year's Advent Calendar and then we will be it's getting Spider-Man with the yellow jacket from Homecoming which is, is going to be a really good figure. I cannot wait to see what that looks like. Like, uh, we're getting Thanos, definitely not going to be the big figure. I'm pretty sure they're just going to do the minifigure from the Sanctuary 2 set. Uh, then we'll be getting a Black Widow, which was, you know, misspelt in this picture here. We will get a Thor, which is most likely going to be a fat Thor, hopefully. If not, they could always do some something from Thor Ragnarok. That would be very cool. Um, and then they're going to do Captain Marvel. We don't know which Captain Marvel they're going to do. Hopefully they make it somewhat exclusive, somewhat different. Maybe they're going to do the one from... Uh, and from Endgame, maybe the, instead they'll just include the short hair piece. I really don't know. And then we'll have a Nick Fury, which I don't know if that'll be from the Captain Marvel movie or just any Avengers movie. Um, we really don't know. And then the builds that we heard about are going to be the Quinjet, Hall of Armor, Hell Carrier, Avengers Tower, and then the Dummy. And then there's going to obviously be more stuff. Um, but as of now, that's all we kind of know about. And this seems like a very, very promising Marvel Advent Calendar. Um, you know, a bunch of the Advent Calendars are usually disappointing, especially in the Star Wars line, other than last year. Last year's was great for Star Wars, but um, I'm definitely going to consider picking this up, considering um, all of the amazing figures that we are going to be getting in this set. Hopefully, some of these are exclusive to Black Widow. I would really like it if they did use the Black Widow from the movie. Um, like her Black Widow solo movie and I really hope the, these aren't based off of the comics I'm pretty sure um, they'll be based off the MCU but I really don't know um, if they're not based on the MCU I probably won't I probably won't get this um, but I'm very excited for this to you know just to see this and uh, yeah this gonna this is gonna be a very very good set and I just can't cannot wait to see what it is once again I really just hope it's not based off of any of the comics. So set 76199 was officially revealed today and is going to be the Carnage Helmet slash Bust and will be $70. Pre-orders start on the 11th and it's going to be Target exclusive in the United States. And it's going to be in on the 18 plus line, of course. And this set looks re really, really kick-ass. Let me tell you, I, I just... 
it just looks so good in my opinion. I'm probably not going to get it because I really don't care to have something like this on my display, but this looks absolutely phenomenal. And, and it does not have the same set number as the Venom Bus, so expect a Venom Bus to come out as well. And of course, this is based off of the new um, Let There Be Carnage movie, and um, if this is what the Carnage is going to look like, this looks really freaking cool. So I'm um, very excited just to see what the, more of this set, especially the Venom Bust. I really love the way they did the teeth and the eyes. Everything just looks so menacing and just so kind of creepy. Um, and once again, I cannot wait for the movie and of course this set. So um, let's get right into the final thing and then we'll close out the video. So with set 76194, it's just marked as Disney Plus and this is the list that um, Promo Bricks provided us. And um, it's just marked as Disney Plus, so we don't know much about it. But from what I can, what from what I've heard, it's either going to be from Falcon and Winter Soldier or uh, WandaVision. I think it's going to be Falcon and Winter Soldier, considering something like that would make more sense as a set. And also, since we're getting a Marvel CMF, which I talked about my on my video yesterday, uh, there's definitely it's pro most likely going to be Falcon and Winter Soldier, just considering like something like WandaVision seems like it would be more suitable in a CMF than a set like this. And I believe the price point's going to be thirty to fifty dollars, so we don't really know much about it otherwise um, but we should get some form of a re reveal soon which is what I was told so um, once again very excited for all of these sets these sets seem absolutely phenomenal I cannot wait um, for the future of Lego Marvel and um, also I am doing a short you know kind of covering everything in under a minute just so you, if you have it don't feel like watching the entire video you could go and do that but if you have made it this far comment thanos and i will know that you guys watch this entire video so have a fantastic day and uh goodbye.